Hello, thank you for taking the time to listen and watch possibly this short podcast. Have you ever had the idea that uh, your office or your staff is miserable or sometimes not part of a team member? They're not working with you. They're not helping you. They're not building anything. They're constantly complaining. They're talking about this and they're talking about that. Or you're having them do things which they're not happy about. Or they're doing things that you don't want them to do. And it's a constant struggle. Have you had this happen to you? Is this part of your team? If this is the case, ask yourself, What kind of environment do you create in the morning when you come into the practice? What kind of environment do you create in your own life? Same thing that you have at home. Imagine a man or a woman coming home and going into their abode, their home of where things are in comparison to basically work. And they're coming in and they're saying hello with a negative attitude. Imagine walking in there and saying how difficult the day was, that it was raining, and that it was so terrible because there was so much traffic, and that it was so difficult because there were so many problems on that day. It's bound to bring more negativity around anyone that you meet, anyone that you talk to, anyone that you live with, partners, spouses, children, family members, every one of them will be affected in a negative way. Imagine that coming in a different light. Imagine coming to the office in the morning, and as you walk in, the first thing that you say is a positive word, something like, What a wonderful day. Thank God for being here. Goodness gracious, everybody looks so good. I'm glad you're on time. Thank you for coming. Glad for being here today. Let's make today a positive day. A positive attitude, a positive, enthusiastic comment will boost everybody up. The question is, when you come into the office, what do you do to do that? Here's my recommendation. Before you walk into the office, stand by the door. Hold on to that door now before you open open the door or put your hand on the wall, whatever you've got to do, but set at least a moment, just a moment of one to two minutes to think and actually realize that you're walking into the office and you're creating an environment of energy. Will it be a positive energy or opposite of that? Will it be a great, beautiful light or will it be the opposite of that? You decide. So stand outside and say, what am I going to say? What am I going to do? How am I going to treat them? What am I going to promote? What positive attitude can I bring into this place? What energy will I I share with them? By walking in and taking your time to think about this, it will change not only the environment, but also change the focus of what you've got. And now that you're walking in and you're saying hello to everybody, being kind, smiley, giving a compliment when need to, you'll see that at that moment, all the darkness or all the negativity will go away. Now, you might say, well, that's fine, but within 20 minutes, problem comes along. One of the staff members is upset. Another one is late. This one is on the cell phone. This one is not paying attention to the care. This one is not doing the work. Whatever the case may be, even if this is the case, this is your opportunity to look forward to changing that. Remember, your job in this world and our jobs, all of us, is not to try to dissipate the darkness. It's not trying to demolish the darkness. No, just bring in more light. By bringing in more light, being positive, being kind, it will automatically transfer everything else and make it so that everyone now is in a better mood because of you. And this better mood, of course, will create better energy, which will be more positive, will spread to another person and to another person and yet to another person. Now that you see that and that everybody works together, you'll see so much more positive attitude around you that everybody will work together, not only as a team member, but they'll work together so much to build up. This is not a question of changing what is going on. It's a question of infusing more light, infusing more positivity, infusing more goodness. By you doing so, you will have changed your world. And by the way, this stands true also when you come home. Imagine a father coming home and walking into the house and just complaining. Now imagine the other father coming home and giving a hug to these kids, talking to the partner or the spouse and saying, how much I missed you. How great is today? I'm so happy to be home right now. It's going to be the best evening we've ever had. And making this moment the best moment you've ever had before. I don't know if you believe in this concept, but I'm going to share it with you because I think it's important for you to understand. Every single moment in the world, since the creation of the world, and again, I'm not saying you do or do not believe about the creation of the world. Whatever you believe, however this world came about, just follow me for a second. However this world came about, 
today, where we are right now, right here, right now, talking to each other. This world has a moment, it has a time concept to it. Beside the space and environment that we live in, the time concept is something which you and I know exists and keeps on moving and never stops. Do you know that the moment that's going to happen a minute from now has never existed since the creation of the world? Never. Think about that for a second. That means that the moment that's going to about to come in a minute, two minutes, in five minutes, has never existed and you're in control of that. Can you think about the energy that comes into that moment? Which means that the creator of the world has given energy, tremendous amount of power, and all the infusion of electrodes and, and a tremendous, tremendous amount of ions that it takes to build this moment. And now the question is, it's given to you. What will you do with it? What will you do on that moment? Don't waste it. And certainly don't cloud it with all kinds of negativity. Infuse in it the positive energy. And that positive energy will create more positive energy. So what happens when you're positive? First of all, you live a better life. Two, you feel better about yourself. Three, the people that are around you love you better, more. Four, they become more enthusiastic. Five, everything else and everybody around you becomes more positive. By thinking positive, you will definitely change the outcome of whatever it is that you're working on to a positive outcome. But by being a positive person, you'll see nothing will stand in the way. And if it is a challenge, if it is an obstacle, turn it into an opportunity, turn it into a reality. It's all you've got to do is look at things in the way that they are and don't let them overcome you or over blame you for what you've done or what you've done, what, what's happening. Now, I'm just saying for sure that if you made a mistake, stop that mistake. If you're doing something stupid, then just stop it because that's ridiculous. But if you're doing the right thing and things just don't seem to be going your way, don't look at it this way. Look at the positive of what's going on. Think of what you've got going and focus on that positive energy. I promise you, everything will turn out to be okay. And there's never, ever a challenge that is given to any man by the creator of this world ever, a challenge that you cannot overcome. If it's given to you, if it's facing you, if it's in front of you, it's because you as an individual can overcome it, can make it work and can change that. So that's what I hope for you, that you become that positive person that can spread energy everywhere, not from the charisma, but from the character that you have. Charisma is only based on the people that you're with, 